Hostinger has a really good AI chatbot that has a generous free plan that you can start using right now on your WordPress site. So I definitely think that you should go ahead and test it out right now because it has all the bells and whistles that you need for the chatbot. So it's a fantastic option to get started. Now you can go ahead and grab right now this plan, which is the free plan. Go ahead and jump down here, go to the AI agent limits, and you'll see that you'll get access to five agents, 100 conversations per, per month, 10,000 monthly sessions, 50 minutes of voice call, 250 monthly SMS, and that's in the free plan. You're gonna get all of that. So that's pretty cool. And if you scale from there, then you're gonna get a bunch of better limits, all right? So I already have this chatbot installed on my WordPress site, and I'm going to show you how to use it. Now, before we do that, let me show the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. So if you plan to grab a managed WordPress site, I do recommend that you check out their hosting plans. Jump over to the link in the description, click on services, go to manage hosting for WordPress, and then go to pricing. They have definitely good pricing, Plus, one of the things I do love the most now is that they now include AI inside of these features. You can use AI to generate conversations, posts, etc. Plus, there's also an AI agent for WordPress that lets you manipulate inside of WordPress to fix issues, create posts, mod modifications, etc. And that's included in this bundle. Now, right now, you can go ahead and choose this plan, and I'm going to show you how to grab it for a lower price with my coupon code. So the first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend the 48 months. You're gonna lock in the lowest price and the lowest renewal price. Now, currently this is the pricing, but if you click on have a coupon code and type in my code or paste it in, the price is gonna drop to $172 with 37 cents. Four years paid off with AI features and all the hosting features that they're going to provide. So pretty great deal if you ask me. Okay, so let's jump over to my WordPress site and I already installed the AI chatbot. It's a free plugin that you can go ahead and grab right now and install it to get started. Now, as I mentioned before, this is one of the best AI chatbots that I have worked with and I've worked with about 20 or more of these. Now, one of the coolest features, you're not going to find them in the WordPress site, even though you can set it up. I do recommend that you jump into your dashboard and you'll set up the chatbot with way more advanced features because you can use conditional logic in the dashboard. But let me go ahead and show you what you can do here on WordPress. So first thing you can do is select your agent avatar. In this case, I can go ahead and select this guy, which his name is Gideon, and he's, uh, he's pretty mature, not to say old, mature, uh, but we're gonna use it for this use case. And his agent role is client feedback specialist. If you don't wanna provide that role because that's how it's going to behave, you can go ahead and change it here or give it a better description for the job title because that's it's going to give it an incentive of how he is going to actually behave and respond, okay? Then the default language, these are the available languages, the tone of voice, friendly, professional, or casual, a greeting message. So if you want this to have a greeting message from the beginning, so it's gonna pop up here on the top, you can see here, and I can go ahead and modify this if I like, or just go ahead and remove it if I don't wanna use it, okay? Then we have the chattiness option. So, in this case, you got minimal or up to chatty. If you're going to provide support where you need to provide a lot of detail, use chatty. If not, I think short is a sweet spot, but it's going to depend how many words or conversation you want to use for the chattiness. Go ahead and test it out for yourself. Then we have the chat guideline. That means that this is how it's going to behave and use this as a guideline. So I can add more here by saying, hey, you know what? Gideon is 60 years old. So respond like a person that has 60 years old. And that's just like a guideline. And you can add this for different things. Uh, maybe saying if the uh, person is angry, then try to de-escalate the issue or don't try to de-escalate, then do something else and just provide guidelines here. You have about option to add a, a bunch of these. Then you got your agent style for changing the, st the theme of this. So if I click on this, you'll see that right now it has like a purple kind of look to it if I want this other color or just go ahead and change every single color right here, which is available there, okay? Then the visibility options, which I think is pretty awesome. You got your minimal layout or extended. You have two buttons that you can select and I'll use the minimal one. That's the one I like. Then you have the position left or right. I wish they had a better position option here to change it to the left in the middle or just let me really fine tune this, but you only have those two options for now. You got the pulsing option. So if you wanted to pulse, which could kind of guide the viewers into actually viewing it. Right now it's not pulsing, but it will pulse, pulse once you have that set up, right? The open by default, so right now it's closed and that's the way it's gonna stick unless someone clicks on it or always open or open after five seconds and it's up to you how you want to use this. I like to keep it closed 
And unless someone is interested, kick it off. If not, don't. Visible on all devices or just mobile or just desktop, right? Then visibility options, you can hide on or show on specific pages and you can add as many as you want for the show on or the hide on to in case you want to be really fine tuning here where you want to show this. Then you got your knowledge base. This is where I think it shines the most because you can add several type of knowledges here. You can go ahead and type in your knowledge by giving it a description here of details that you, it needs to have in order for it to respond to provide support. In this case, upload documents, you can upload tags, uh, PDFs, etc. You can crawl URLs. So if you have a URL for external uh, products, policy guides, uh, warranties, things that it needs to know, you can crawl those pages and give that information to Gideon for it to respond or questions and answers. So if you know that someone is going to ask something like, hey, are you going to work on Christmas, New Year's, etc.? Provide the answer here. It'll have it ready to surf when someone asks it. So you are anticipating what could, what someone could ask. Okay? Now, these are the options available here. But as I mentioned, they got way more options here if you go into the dashboard. So I recommend setting it up there and then going here. Because, for example, in training, they got actions. Actions for me is one of the best features that they have. And I haven't seen this on other chatbots because this is conditional logic for the chatbot. So I can actually tell it that, you know what, if someone, if the user sentiment is angry, then go ahead and contact support or provide it something else or respond this type of way. So I love the, having this option here to respond in conditional logic. So it's way smarter than kind of trying to figure this out with giving it guides or guidelines, etc. Actions are fantastic for this. It's conditional logic for chatbot. So it's a great option to have it here. So definitely install right now your chat form AI chatbot, test it out. You're going to find out that it's a great chatbot to start using. Like I said, they got a generous free plan. And if you need more conversations and you need to escalate, then jump into the paid plan. And if you plan to grab a hosting plan, use my coupon code SASMaster on Hostinger. And that's a wrap.